Hey, it's Justin from BJU Press, and today I want to show you Algebra 2. Now, I really like Algebra 2 because, like the rest of our secondary math products, it does a great job of helping you shape a biblical worldview through dominion modeling, which is a process where we take the subject and apply it to real-world problems uh, in a way that helps us fulfill the biblical mandate of loving our neighbors and exercising dominion over the earth. So let's dive in. Now I've chosen chapter four for this video which talks about matrices and the chapter opening starts off with a dominion modeling segment that introduces a real world problem. In this case the moon landing and how some have claimed that the landing might have been a hoax due to some irregularities in the photographs that were taken on the moon. Uh, it then talks about how photos can be edited and how photo editing is based in algebra, specifically matrices. So how learning about matrices can help us evaluate images to determine whether they communicate truth or whether they've been edited in some way. Now moving on to the next page, we have chapter four, lesson one, which starts out with an introduction to the concept of a matrix and then follows up with a series of example problems. Now, this is really great because as someone who tutors a lot of math, I find this important because if a student doesn't understand the concept immediately, we have more questions to work through to make sure they understand immediately. These extra problems, along with the support that we provide in the teacher's edition, are very valuable to a homeschool parent for the same reason. Uh, you, you probably know that there's nothing worse than going through an example problem where you have one and not understanding and being stuck with nowhere to go. And it also breaks up this complex problem into multiple sections um, instead of one harder to understand example. So flipping over to the next page, we have yet another example followed by an abundance of practice problems. And I love this part as a tutor because I've run into these situations where a student needs extra practice but we run out of problems. You don't necessarily have to do all of them but they're there if you need them and that's what we're all about. We're all about empowering the parent to do what's right for their student. And the answers to the odd numbers are in the back of the book um, for students to check their work. Now I want to show you the end of the chapter where there's a section on dominion modeling that explains how what we've learned in the chapter applies to the problem that we introduced at the beginning. In this case, it's showing how algebra um, relates to imagery sampling. And then it gives us some questions that shows the process in action and help build an understanding of the concept as a whole. And then finally, the photos on the right demonstrate how imagery sampling led to the low quality photos that caused some to believe that the moon landing was faked but by looking at the images in their original size, we can clearly see that they've actually not been edited. And last but certainly not least, we have some follow-up questions here below. Based on the discussion above, what part can image resolution play in revealing truth? And according to Ephesians 4, 21, 25, why should a Christian communicate truthfully? And these questions just do a great job of tying uh, everything we've learned back to that biblical worldview that we talked about earlier. So I hope you like this overview of Algebra 2. And if you did, and you want to see other books done in the same way, um, just leave us a comment below and we'll try to get to that in the coming months. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. We've got other great content coming your way. We'll see you next time.